right now we're gonna be checking out the top 10 scariest videos of all time. Number 10. Oh heck no. Do y'all not do you guys not see that? Run, man! I hate when people see a demon and they, they just stand there or sit there. You guys just kept chilling, eating your dinner, holding your creepy baby doll. I would have been the first one out the door, man. I would have been halfway to Mexico by now. <laughs> this man's chilling. Where, where's your shirt? Did you forget to do laundry? <laughs> Get up on out of here, man. Number nine. This is one of the most mysterious things that has ever happened in the Yo, sweater. town of Stonebrook. <laughs> oh, sorry. So Stonebrook was this town that was historically really dependent on mining, but once that industry kind of got up and left, almost 100% of the town's population followed. But there were still security cameras that were left over. CCTV cameras that were left over from the late 90s started to capture and transmit what appeared to be a single person who was living in that town. And what's really eerie about this footage is that they're mostly seen alone, but they're just kind of standing there. They're not really doing anything or looking anywhere. Eventually those cameras started to transmit to people and the footage just got eerier because I don't even know how to explain the context of a photo like this. Still, all of this footage is very far away, right? We never really got a close-up shot of that original person until we got this in 2001. This added to the <gasps> haunting collection of footage of the unknown person in that town. To this day, the lone resident of Stonebrook kind of remains this haunting relic of a forgotten city. Oh no, no man, no. What is that? It's a <coughs> it's a mannequin. You've got mannequins walking around that town with the Michael Jackson haircut. Mm -mm, no, no, we can't do it, man. Shoot it! Like, like, what do we have to do? Like, somebody just uh, drop a drop a nuke. Get rid of it. Kill it before it lays eggs. That's all I'm saying, man. I mean, it, dang. Or or give it a haircut. Really, you gonna wear those bangs outside? I mean, come on now. I could have cut your hair better than that. <laughs> Am I right? <coughs> wear a hat like me. Jeez. Do I have to do everything around here? I mean, uh, come on now. And you in the front. Get rid of the nose ring. Yeah. Oh, I showed him, didn't I? Number eight. Hi. I got this. Can you open your door? Uh, no. <laughs> Ew. Please. No, you guys need to find your house and stay there. Ew, girl. We don't have a home. Our parents are six feet under. Oh, boy. What? What, is, what? Who did this? Is it bad that I want to punch her in the face? Like, 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 come on now. If you gonna show up and get that close to my ring camera, I guarantee you I'm gonna release the dogs. Or I'm just gonna release like some poisonous gas. If you get that close to me ever again, girl, I'll put a gun in your luggage. Or I'm gonna throw some anthrax in your face. Oh, we'll see how close you get after that. You gonna get close to the grave. That's about it. Take your butt to McDonald's and get yourself a Happy Meal, girl. Jeez. Let's see if you guys can make it all all the way to number one. But for now, we are on number seven. How accurate are reconstruction photos of unidentified bodies? Sometimes when a body is found in a condition that can't be identified, they'll build these 3D models just based on the remains they have. So today I'm gonna tell you a story and we're gonna see. This is the reconstruction model of Debbie Deer Creek, a body that was found in 1984 in Deer Creek, Montana. When she was found, it was Christmas Eve, and basically a wildlife photographer just saw her leg protruding from the snow. Uh. It was believed that she was a late teen, but could be as old as 30, but there were no missing reports of women that age in the area. And she remained unidentified until 2006 when DNA evidence proved that she was Marcy Bachman. She was a teen runaway who was a victim of Wayne Nance, a serial killer that operated in Montana in the 70s and 80s. This photo is actually of the two of them, and police had this photo, but someone had called in a false tip saying that they saw her in Seattle, so when police found this photo, they assumed she was alive and didn't think that she was one of his victims. When she was found, her face was completely unrecognizable, but you can see here, without any information to go on, they still made a model that looked somewhat like her. No, it, what? What do you think? You're telling me that's a model that looks somewhat like her? Y'all look nothing alike. The model is black and she's white. You might as well put my face in there, jeez. The bangs are wrong, the, the, the model has no eyebrows, the eyes are too big, who made this? You did a terrible job, man. I mean, you, you need to be fired and then executed, and then afterwards drug tested, and then thrown into the gulag. <laughs> oh, yeah. Number six. G girl Whose ex-girlfriend is this? Oh. Back up! What was that? Are you Satan's daughter? Dang, girl, you need to, mm -mm. no, 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 not today. I can literally see your Invisalign from here. <laughs> 
Come on now. You need to stay back. I mean, six feet, please. If you see this girl pop out of your bathroom looking like this, then uh, spray her with Raid, all right? Just, just, just spray her and then maybe she'll go away. Who do we call to get rid of somebody like this? Like, like, should I just call, I don't know, should I call the military? <laughs> Black Ops? Like, should I call like the special SWAT team? I swear this girl looks hungry. Let's just hope she doesn't like dark meat. Yeah, I said it. Number five. Here are three ways to survive encountering a Wendigo. According to certain Native American legends, when a person partakes in the act of cannibalism, they become a malicious creature known as a Wendigo, whose hunger for human flesh is unending. The first rule you'll need to remember in order to avoid having a run-in with this entity is to never leave a cut or bruise unbandaged. Because of its cannibalistic nature, the Wendigo is hypersensitive to the scent of human blood, so having an open wound could make you an easy target. The second rule applies if you suspect you are being tracked by a Wendigo. Don't underestimate its intelligence. Although it is beastly in appearance, the Wendigo retains much of the knowledge it learned as a human, making it all the more formidable if you underestimate it. Finally, if you must fight, be sure to use ranged weapons. Wendigos are known for their sharp claws and teeth, so fighting one up close is practically a death sentence. Tag a friend if you're watching this alone, and follow for more. No, I will not follow for more. You're telling me I have to watch out for Wendigos? <laughs> I mean, jeez. But this thing, like, I don't even know, how do you take it down? If I leave my bag of McDonald's in front of him, you think he'll take that instead of me? I'd be like, hey buddy, I got you, got you a Big Mac, large fry, two apple pies, and I got you a shamrock shake. Come on, a Wendigo's not gonna say no to that. I mean, gee, that sounds pretty good. Huh? Oh, what, you wanted a vanilla shake? Okay, all right, I'll, I'll go back, I'll, I'll get you one. I ain't gonna get him one. I'll get you a slap to the face. How about that? Number four. See this, right? Bro. Is that person? Oh, something moved. Okay, something. That, that just moved. That's, that's a f***ing person. person. That's a person. Get out of there, man! Person. Whose garage is this? You had to stack all them clowns. Michael Myers, Chucky, and Groot. What? What is Groot doing here? Everything was scary until we got to Groot. Groot's just like, I don't belong here, man. I'm lost. This is the worst school photo I've ever seen. <laughs> Did all of y'all graduate together? What kind of class photo is this? You guys look ugly. <laughs> Jeez. I would have hated to go to school with all of y'all. Sitting at lunch with these clowns? Mm-mm, not today, man. Number three. Skinwalker is trying to imitate an animal. See how it has a horse's body but a dog's face? It didn't know exactly what the animal looked like. Wait, girl, what, what the heck? What, are you what, what just happened? You're telling me skinwalkers can just transform up into animals, but the skinwalker couldn't Google what a dog looks like? It's like, oh, is it a dog or is it a horse? Like, I, I, I'll just do half and half. You ain't gonna fool anybody like that. That, you better learn how to transform into an animal correctly. I'm sorry, man. If I see this animal, I, I, I gotta put it down, man. Take it back by the woodshed and shoot. Or I mean, I mean, shoot, shoot, shoot it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, every dog has his day, but y'all need to quit horsing around. We are almost at number one, but for now, we are on number two. Creepy videos found on the internet. Um, hello? Right there this time. Hello? Oh, no. Hey, no, 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 no. No, <gasps> no stay there. Hey. Ooh. Okay, did you guys just get chills? It's okay. I got the goosebumps. It's okay. Leave. Stop. You're, you gotta go. Your, your house haunted, man. Just get the heck out of Calm there. Calm down. What are you? You can have Stop. the house. <gasps> you really went to investigate? You went outside. Why would you oh, do this? On. Bro. I ought to slap the stupid out your face. <gasps> oh. <Holy cow. laughs> I can't do it, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Gee, guys, guys. All right. All right. The video's over, man. I, I can't. I can't go on. Okay, I'll go on. Those hands. So I guess we know that ghosts are racist. There's only white-handed ghosts. Where, where's the black ghost? Come on now. We need some African-American ghosts. Indian ghosts. Can I get me a Chinese ghost? <laughs> sorry. I'm just saying. We want some diversity up in the afterlife. Woo!
Oh, guys, we made it to number one. Normal photo. You got a stomach ache, man? You just holding on? What was? Oh, <gasps> girl. Oh, bro. It's over, man. Um, everything okay? Ah! What are you? Bro! You can see the ghost girl in the background, like in the window of this guy. Stay, like, is that your house? If that's your house, man, like, burn it down. Light a match. Throw it inside. But then the ghost is gonna be homeless. So, you know, are we sure we wanna do that? Tell the ghost you'll pay for their motel, okay? I mean, they can, they can haunt that instead. Ain't letting the ghost li live in the house, not today. You better go to church, man. Do something. Get the holy water. Quit standing around, man. There's a ghost in your house. Go and cut the grass. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and smack that like button. And yeah, I'ma see ya in the next one. Peace.